So this is the first video in the GAD 101 game mode series. Now the first thing we want to do in this class is plan out what our game is going to be. Now I'm going to assume that you've already written your design document and that you've written your story and you have a good idea of what your interior room is going to be. So I'm going to keep this room pretty generic. So what we do first is we're going to jump into Photoshop and produce a map. And this map will eventually get taken into Maya or 3D Studio Max, modeled. And the elements will be taken into Unity or UDK. From there, we'll go ahead and build a character and animate that character uh, and have them bring that into Unity or UDK and have that character walk around. So let's start by uh, producing a map. So we're going to go to File, New, Photoshop. And we're going to name it Game Map. And for width and height, I'm just going to make it 2048 by 2048. I'm going to hit OK. You can see here it named it Game Map. What I'm going to do next is just draw out my own sort of border. Now this border is going to encompass the entire first level of my map, not just one room. So what I normally do is, and again, when you're doing all of this, it's sort of tentative in the planning stage. I go ahead and do Edit Stroke, about 10 pixels. I'm going to go with the color black. OK. I frame out my scene like this. Now to get rid of these, the uh, marquee, you can hold the control key and hit D. It'll deselect it. Now with this in, in mind, what I sort of want to do is, based on my game design document, I'm going to start to plan out my level. So on the new, new uh, layer, I do that by clicking the, the new button at the bottom, the new layer button. I start to just draw out a simple line. And this line will sort of be my thought process or plan of action. And I'm just sort of sketching here. So I'm going to say this is my starting point. And from here, I want my character to sort of encompass or um, sort of encounter certain obstacles as they get to here. So my map is very linear. Now, if it goes from here to here, it would be an extremely boring scene or extremely boring game. So my story itself is about a little kid, and he starts off in sort of this, he starts off in his bedroom, he leaves his backyard, and he's literally going to meet a bully for a fight. So, again, I'm sort of in the sketching phase, and so you can actually rename this layer Sketch, because you're simply just sketching or planning out ideas before you finalize it using Photoshop's more finished tools. And this is also a really fun phase where you can brainstorm with your friends. So I'm just going to go ahead and start drawing out. I have the brush tool selected. The boy's room. So we're going to say he starts off here. Okay. Now ga the games themselves are sort of smoke and mirrors in respect to um, the way things are. So we're going to we're going to fake that this bedroom or this this room that there's other rooms in the house, but the door itself is locked. So our, bo our character is locked in his bedroom. And so we'll put a bed here and maybe a dresser here. Again, we're just sort of planning or we'll put the dresser in the corner here. So at this point, we're sort of figuring out how does our character leave this room if the door is locked. So this is our character's door. And normally this symbol represents um, our character. Let's go ahead and zoom in on just this area here so you can kind of take a look. This um, room here sort of symbolizes the um, a door being open from the other side, and our door is not open, so we're going to go ahead and erase that. Our door is actually locked. So our character is standing here in his room, and we could figure out the logistics of you know, paint posters on the wall, but he's got a pretty small room, a dresser, and maybe there's a lamp here. And what we do see is that maybe there's a window here. Now, I don't know the architectural detail for a window, so what I went ahead and did is I went to Google, and I just typed in architectural details. Now you can see here that there's a couple, um, there's actually more than this. I found uh, hundreds and hundreds, like sheets and sheets of hundreds of different architectural details. But right now we just want to kind of, bait, we kind of want to take what we have here, right? So here's an interior door, here's an exterior door, and they look pretty much the same. It's just the way they move. I like these casement windows. So what I'm going to say is, I'm going to marquee this. 
I'm just going to hit Control C, and in here I'm going to hit Control V, and that pasted it into the C. Then I'm going to hit Control T, and again, on my sketching layer, I'm sort of just kind of building this out. I'm just going to place this here. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and use my eraser. Just kind of erase out some of these areas that kind of butt up against the window. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control E and just bring this down so it's all on the same sketch. So again, I was selecting my top layer and I hit Control E to collapse it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take a look and I'm going to say that my character, let's make a new layer on top. And we're going to name this layer line. I'm going to hit enter. And we're going to assume that my character moves from here all the way outside of the window. And he jumps out. Now, with that in mind, and we have that placement of the room, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to quickly sketch out the rest of my environment. So our character leaves his room here, and the house itself is surrounded by a fence. And so our character now has two obstacles. For one, our character leaps out of his bedroom window, and now he's out here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump up to line. I'm just going to sort of extend this out, going back to sketch. And I'm going to say at this point, there is a doghouse here. And mind you, everything you add into your scene is going to require you to model it. So this is a doghouse. And you can go ahead and just write DH next to it just so it sort of reminds you of that it's a doghouse. If you need to spell it out, that's fine. So maybe our character notices he can't leap over the fence to get over here. All right, so I'm going to jump up to my line. I'm going to erase this line here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. I'm going to jump down the sketch. And maybe he actually has to jump on a pile of boxes or a garbage can or whatever. So our character now comes down here. Let's go ahead and erase this. I think I added that to the sketch later. Now jumps up here onto these boxes and over the fence. And now our character is located in some sort of forest or his house butts up to the city. So let's say our character is jumps over this fence and he's actually on a city. And when he's in the city, here's the street. He jumps onto a sidewalk. So you know, there's two sidewalks here. We can draw those in. Again, remember we're on our sketch layer so we can be as free or as loose as we and we can start thinking about stores, and each store has a fence in between it. So, and again, as we build this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to finish sketching this out, and then uh, when I unpause the video, I'll sort of discuss my thought process. So at this stage, uh, we kind of have it sort of flushed out a little bit better. So. Our character runs through the room, leaps out of the house window, jumps over this garbage can, runs through the street, finds that there's two police cars blocking his path. So he runs to the right and he notices a character here. Runs up to the character. The character informs him that he must jump on this passing tugboat that will take him all the way to the other side. So the thought process behind this is everything you add within this scene must get so we need to model the interior of this bedroom, we need to model these windows, we need to model a doghouse, we need to model the garbage cans. We need to actually possibly model a house inside of here, but we do have a fence set up. We have to model four businesses, two police cars, this could be one cop car model, another house, a school that you pass in front of, a fence to go in front of that school so we can't enter there, remember we're trying to think about collision, another character, a bridge, a tugboat. Now, this doesn't include textures and all that other stuff. So we're going to take a look at dissecting this map and modeling each element of this, this uh, map. We're going to try to do it off of this sketch. So what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to take a look at modeling a gray box of this room.